Fowler, set building. I'm James Chittick, I'm also building the set here with Donnie, and I'm also in the cast as uh, Oren, the, uh, the dentist that everybody loves. This is not either Donnie or my set design, it was designed by uh, Hannah Marshbanks, and she kind of drew out and did the layout working with the director. They kind of turned the two of us loose and said, here's, here's the shape you got to stick with, I'm looking for some really rough looking buildings. Where Hannah's got a very set design size wise, you have to have so much stage left. So you've got to get it in this much space and this much space, but she has allowed us the creative freedom, I guess, to come up with the little detail stuff Shapes, on our own. Deep, yeah. And uh, we've had lots of fun with that. And I think, I think we've been inspired by looking around, you know, New Bern and it's like, how is that made? What is that? Look? How can we fake that effect there? And I think that's what really makes the, st the set uh, jump out and come alive. The, the ideas are always much bigger than your, your budget. I mean, it's kind of like you know, your eyes are bigger than your stomach. And then you start bringing stuff in and laying the tape measure out and chalking and going, well, this is a great idea, but it's way too big. Instead of 10 steps, it's got to be three. I mean, instead of 40 feet or off into the back, it's like, well, you only have 12 feet here. You got to really work with the director and the director needs to work with you to stick within the framework. Nothing drives you more crazy than when you build something and the blocking is completely different and doesn't work, and then it's like, you know, panic ensues. Perfect example of that is, is the wing that opens up on this set, where originally it was gonna be four feet. But when it opened when up, it, it was opened, too big. Yeah, yeah, it was too big. It, it, it completely hid the back part of the set. 48 inches came 33 inches. Yeah. <laughs> No, there, that works. So. We create our own world, but we've definitely got space limitations to do it. For a long time, it was one or two people would come in and over weeks and weeks put the set together. And then last year, we kind of came up with this blitz build concept. And I like getting as many people as I can involved. And last year at one set, we had 22 people in here people spread out over the audience, building components and parts, and it's like, okay, this is ready, now bring that up, set it up here, screw it together. And that, that way you have a set much sooner for the cast, and, and, and I think every cast member wants to work in their space as soon as possible. This set, for as complex as it is, for as complex as it looks, it's gone up relatively quickly, and I know all the cast members appreciate that because Hannah had everybody scheduled to work this weekend, this and weekend we've to canceled do a build, it. and we really don't need all that help because we've uh, we're down to paint and detail. Yeah, it's, it, that's it. Well, we're fortunate that we have stuff from other sets. For example, the bay window behind us. Um, I believe that was in 1776. Uh, Sweeney Todd. I know it was in Sweeney Todd. Yeah. We have um, a few mystery parts that we, came from uh, Ain't Misbehaving. From, yeah. But you'll have to guess where they where they show up in here. But it's like, ah, oh, let's use that. See if anybody catches it. Yeah, another cool thing is this cast. Um, almost every cast member serves dual purpose in this show. For example, us being set builders and costume people who are singers and choreographers who are lead characters. Everybody's wearing two hats, which is great. I feel we push ourselves at New Bern Civic Theater to always one up the next, you know, it's like, oh, we gotta do better than that, we gotta do better than that. And that's what drives the quality of the productions that we put up here. I'm proud of this set. I mean, when we get done, it's gonna be looking great.